an apology. In recent episodes, the News at Kate has ridiculed UKIP, suggesting that they would tolerate party members and officials with racist views. The News at Kate would like to apologise. This was very foolish of us. Very foolish of us to present this as a joke when it is instead a cold, hard fact. Or arguably less of a fact and more of a grotesque understatement. So this week the UKIP leader Gerard Batten has appointed Tommy Robinson as the UKIP grooming gang's advisor. Now, there's something very loaded about having a grooming gang's advisor, isn't there? It's sort of like making a big point about how grooming gangs are the issue. I'd be all in favour of them having, as many parties do, a, an advisor on ending violence against women. That seems like a reasonable, sensible thing to do. But it feels a little bit like what they're actually appointing is a, an advisor in charge of ending violence against women when it's committed by brown people. It's a little bit like it's one thing having a hygiene supervisor in the kitchen, but when you're the sous chef in charge of making sure there isn't any human excrement in the hors d'oeuvres, we all start to wonder why the fuck we're shopping in your restaurant, don't we? In fact, Gerard Batten has compared Tommy Robinson to both Gandhi and Nelson Mandela. And, you know, fair enough. I'd like to compare Tommy Robinson to Nelson Mandela and Gandhi. Uh, he's nothing like either of them. He's a violent racist thug. In fairness, Gandhi was a bit racist. Sorry if I've ruined any of your dreams. Um, let's talk, though, about Gerard Batten. Who is Gerard Batten? Well, the first thing you need to know is that the best picture Wikipedia could find of him still has a protester in the background. <laughs> I'm wondering which pictures they decided not to use. Perhaps the one of an entire army of students mooning at him or the one where he's wiping egg off the side of his face and his forehead. In 2017, while talking about... Britain's exit from the EU, he described Ireland as the weakest kid in the playground sucking up to the EU bullies, which is kind of weird because the one way you can't help the weakest kid in the playground is by pointing at them and calling them the weakest kid in the playground. But nonetheless, you know, at least Ireland is still in the playground with the other kids getting to play freely while Britain, let's be honest, is stuck out on the motorway going, whatever, I know it's dangerous and not fun to play here, but at least there aren't any immigrants. Um, at the time, UKIP's spokesperson responded and said that Batten's comments did not reflect party policy. Can you imagine saying something so stupid and fucking obnoxious that UKIP would seek to distance themselves from you? Also, it's quite hard for them to distance themselves from this, given that at the time he was the UKIP Brexit spokesman. Which, coincidentally, is also basically the only job in UKIP, isn't it? It's a little bit like being the head of Love Island photography focusing on close-ups of bikini shots. Yeah, that's kind of all they do. He also, in 2014, insisted that he thought Muslims in the UK should be forced to sign a document distancing themselves from the parts of the Quran that appear to advocate violence. And not unreasonably, people responded, pointing out that the Bible is full of horrific violence and asking him why he wasn't asking Christians to do the same thing or whether perhaps he was just some sort of weird fucking racist. And he responded saying, Christians aren't blowing people up at the moment, are they? Well, Gerard... That was in 2014, the same time that the Central Af in the Central African Republic, anti-Balaka groups had been destroying basically all of the mosques in the country. There'd been a series of massacres of Muslim populations and multiple accounts of people being forcibly converted from Islam to Christianity. The same year, 2014, six Christians in China attacked and murdered a woman in a religiously motivated attack outside a branch of McDonald's in Xiaonang. Um, the same year, 2014, was the year that the Christian militia, the Russian Orthodox Army, formed in the Ukraine uh, and went on to perform horrific acts of violence. So, in short, Gerard, yeah, yeah, they were. They, they were, they still are. It's kind of a thing. Um, what's really frightening, though, is this. The last time there was a UKIP leadership election, Amory Waters was in it, and she was not elected, and there was a moment where it felt like members of UKIP were saying, you know what, you know, we have our views, but what we won't have is an overtly racist woman at the head of our party. And it turns out that what they meant was, we'd rather have an overtly racist man. <laughs> 